Hi, welcome to Radio 1 Movies with me, Rihanna. We've got three films this week, Vacation, Gemma Bovary and Sinister 2, plus an interview from Gem Arterton and Jason Fleming. Let's start with Vacation. So this is a sort of sequel to Chevy Chase's National Lampoon's Vacation, where a dad tries to take his family to Wally World, this adventure park, and a load of ridiculous stuff happens along the way. Oh my God, I love this song. Everybody sing it with me. There used to be a great tower alone on the sea. But did you know that when it snows, my eyes become loud and the light that you shine can't be seen? Go to sleep! Go to sleep, baby! This is the kind of slapstick stupid comedy that I would normally be happy to point out all the flaws and cliches in, but to be honest, I was completely charmed by it. I think because it's about a family, although it's not suitable for family viewing, it, there weren't any sexist jokes, so I relaxed and I could enjoy it. Christina Applegate, who plays the mum, was actually genuinely really funny, despite some of the past films she's been quite bad in. And also, Ed Helms was a real highlight for me. And the brilliant cameos, like Chris Hemsworth, look out for him. So four stars for Vacation, a pleasant surprise. Next up, it's Gemma Bovary. This is a modern retelling of Flaubert's Madame Bovary about a woman who moves to Normandy in search of adventure and ends up getting tangled up with three different men. Je prends the sunflower. Tournesol. Et ça, c'est quoi? C'est la croquinette. Multicéréale. Mais je vous recommande plutôt celui-là. C'est plus doux. C'est à la graine de lin. Je prends les tous. Si je peux me permettre, on dit je les prends tous. Ou je prends le tout. Oh. Le tout, OK. The lot. All of them. Yeah. Gemma Arston stars as Gemma, mm. and Jason Fleming plays her put-upon husband, and this is what happened when I spoke to them. Now, obviously, you're known for the Maiden Dagnum musical, and I remember you breaking out a bit of song in uh, Sunshine on Leaf. Yes. So, <laughs> was there any, well, a lot of off singing. We had rooms next door to each other so I had to bang on the wall a couple of times because Jem, <laughs> Jem does love a sing song. I do love a sing song. She loves a sing song. We did have a night where we rocked out some Elvis. Yeah. Uh -huh. Jace is a massive Elvis fan. Nice. Yeah. With the moves as with, well? With the moves. I do the moves and Gemma does the voice. Yeah. Oh, Perfect combo. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Gemma does the voice and the lips and I do the legs and the hips. And rhymes. Done. This is a sweet film which is possibly more beautiful to look at than it is entertaining. I was charmed by the really picturesque French villages and the boulangeries and Gemma Arterton going for these romantic walks through these woods with her little dog. But actually, in terms of believability, it's quite far-fetched and plot points are glossed over and this narrating by a nosy neighbour who keeps pointing out parallels between Flaubert's original Madame Bovary and Gemma's story is actually quite annoying. But Gemma Arterton is always such a pleasure to watch on screen. So three stars for Gemma Bovary. Finally, it's Sinister 2. Continuing on from the horrific events in the first film, a mum and her twins move into this house where a family were murdered, and the cop from the first film is now a private investigator, and he wants to stop history repeating itself. Do you believe in evil? Something otherworldly? Yes. You don't stop evil. You can only protect yourself from it. I'm worried about Dylan. Why? He's just different. <laughs> There are references to Bagul across all cultures. Some believe that it fed over oh, the corruption of innocence. This is quite a familiar story with the same sort of jump scares that we associate with The Conjuring and Insidious, those cheap, easy shocks. But sinister films are actually much more character driven, which I really enjoy. So the return of the cop from the first one really worked because it's the character that binds the two stories together. If you want a film about really creepy children, this isn't a bad shout. I know you've got The Orphanage and films like The Others, which are probably on a much higher par, but if you just want something easy to watch with your friends, Sinister 2 is it, so three stars. Next week, I'll be reviewing We Are Your Friends, the new Zac Efron film, Hitman, Agent 47, and Straight Out of Compton with interviews from the cast. So click here to subscribe and catch that then.